Hello everyone and welcome to this video that will show you how to install the Sophos XG firewall on VMware Workstation. If you did not install VMware Workstation yet, please refer to this video entitled How to install VMware Workstation Pro on Windows 10 and how to set your internal network subnet in VMware Workstation. First, let's download the firmware from Sophos.com. Sign in to the licensing portal, formerly my Sophos. If you don't have a Sophos ID, create one and then it will let you to sign in. Once signed in, go to network protection, then download installers page. From this page, choose virtual installers, then firewall OS for VMware and click download. Accept the end user license and let it downloading. When finished, extract the file and verify files in the OVF format. Next, open VMware Workstation homepage and click on Open a Virtual Machine. Browse to the recently recently extracted file and choose SF Virtual. It will be imported to the default storage path. You can change this path if you like. Give it a name like XG Firewall at 172.20.120.50 and click on Port. The virtual machine is now ready to be powered on that we can continue set up the XG firewall. But before this, let's set the virtual network adapter of this virtual machine. Select this recently deployed XG firewall virtual machine and go to VM settings. This shows the current network configuration adapter. Um, there are three network adapters and all of them set to bridge mode by default. We need to set them all to NAT instead. Power on the virtual machine. It takes a couple of seconds to load the initial firmware and the initial config. The default password is admin in lowercase. Accept the license. Next, let's check the current network configuration on the XG firewall. Choose option 1 for network configuration and then also option 1 for interface configurations. This is the default network configuration for port A in the LAN zone. Its IP is 172.16.16.16. .16 Press enter to continue. This the port B, which is belong to the one zone, it has dynamic IP address of 172.20.120.5 from the DHCP server configured in the VMware. Now we need to set the port A in the LAN zone to an IP address in the same subnet of the VMware, which is 172.20.120.0 slash 24. We do this to be able to access the XG firewall web interface. The reason why we do this in an interface belong to the LAN zone and not using the port B IP address in the one zone is because by default LAN zone has HTTPS service enabled in it. This HTTPS service is not enabled in the WAN zone. So we cannot access the XG firewall web interface through port B in the WAN zone. Press enter to continue. Set IPv4, yes. This is the current IP configuration for port A. The new IP will be 172.20.120.8. The new subnet is the same, 255.255.255.0. This is port B IP configuration, so we keep it as is. Set IPv6, no, and type 0 to exit. Now let's connect to the GUI through its configured IP. 
https colon slash slash 172.20.120.8 colon 4444 4444 is the default port that Sophos used for HTTPS services. Just pass the browser warning. This is because the browser does not trust the certificate currently installed in the XG firewall. Just a click on proceed. This brings us to the initial setup of the XG firewall. Click to begin. Choose an admin password. Accept the license agreement and continue. Give the firewall a name. Choose the time zone and current time. Register your firewall. If you have a serial number, choose the first option. If you don't, choose the second option that you will have a 30 days trial period. Then you can upgrade your license later. This gave us a temporary serial number for this XG firewall. Verify the evaluation license and confirm the registration. Initiate license synchronization. Basic setup is now complete. Click continue. In the network configuration page, it is important to keep port A IP address the same, which is 172.20.120.8, as we are currently connected to the XG firewall through this IP address. Otherwise, it will log us out. There is no need for a DHCP server for now. We will be doing it later. In the network protection page, you can enable this feature now or later. Let's enable them now. In the notifications and backups page, set your email in the email recipient and set the email sender as well. You have also the option to configure an external email server. In the configuration summary page, verify the settings and click on finish. It will take a couple of seconds to finish. Once completed, it will reboot and you should be able to log on to the GUI. Log on. And the first thing that I will do is to change my one IP on port B to a static IP. So go to Network, Interfaces, and edit port B to change its IP address to something like 172.20.120.50. Upgrade Interface. Next, I will enable HTTPS on the one zone. So go to Administration, Device Access, and enable HTTPS for one zone. Then click apply. Now you should be able to access the XG firewall through its one IP address and you can change uh, your LAN subnet to something uh, like 10.10.20.1 slash 24. Thanks for watching.